Under Rule 4C of the Federal Rules of Civil Procedure, or FRCP, a plaintiff must serve process on a defendant by delivering a copy of the summons and complaint after filing suit. In addition, Rule 4H1 of the FRCP prescribes how to validly serve process on corporations. But what if a plaintiff doesn't validly serve process on a corporation, yet the corporation receives actual notice of the suit? A federal district court in New York considered this question in American Institute of Certified Public Accountants versus Affinity Card. In March of 1998, the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or AICPA, filed a complaint against Affinity Card in the United States District Court for the Southern District of New York, based on diversity, for breach of contract. Specifically, AICPA argued that Affinity withheld information about credit card fees and failed to make payments. AICPA hired Peter Murphy, a professional process server, to deliver a copy of the summons and complaint to Affinity. Affinity had an office suite that was shared by four companies, all of whom were owned by Affinity's president, Greg Miller. When Murphy arrived, he saw a man in the suite. Murphy asked the man for his name and title, and the man replied, Patrick McDonald, assistant vice president. Murphy assumed McDonald meant assistant vice president of Affinity and handed him a sealed envelope with the summons and complaint. But McDonald was the vice president of another company. Nevertheless, Miller received actual notice of the suit that day. Subsequently, Affinity didn't respond, and AICPA applied for a default judgment, which the court entered. Affinity then moved to vacate the judgment as void for lack of personal jurisdiction due to ineffective service of process.